this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make the perfect beginner-friendly project using double half-inch knots to make a macrame keychain. Nicole here and welcome to Boshi Not Macrame. This is the channel where you will find everything DIY macrame related. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to go over a simple macrame keychain pattern using the double half inch knot. This project is perfect for beginners because it is made with mostly one knot, the double half inch knot, and it doesn't require many tools and other materials. You really only need some cord and either a keyring or a swivel lobster clasp. You may already be able to find one on your keys and so you can use that to make this keychain pattern. So whether you are looking to just get started with macrame or just a quick and easy project to do, this may be the perfect one for you. If you guys are just starting off with macrame and you're interested in learning more basic macrame knots, we do have a macrame starter kit that goes over six basic knots of macrame in a small wall hanging. So if you guys are interested in that, I'll link it in the video description below. And with that said, let's get right into the pattern. The only materials you will need for this pattern are 3mm macrame cord and a swivel lobster clasp or keyring. I will be using a gold lobster clasp. You can find these at your local craft store or on Amazon. The cord that I will be using for this pattern is a 3mm cotton cord from our rainbow cord line in the color Dusty Mauve. This is a soft and sturdy cord which makes it perfect for macrame artists at all skill levels. To begin, we're going to take our first strand of cord at 120 centimeters long, fold it in half, and we're going to weave the loop end through bottom up, the bottom of the lobster clasp, taking the cord ends through the loop to tighten making a reverse lark's head knot. Then with the two cords here, make a diagonal double half inch knot over to the left. Taking our second and third 120 centimeter long cords, Fold both of them in half and attach one onto the left side with a reverse Lars head plus half hitch knot and then do the same thing on the other side. So start off with a reverse Lars head, then take one cord end, so the right cord end here and make a half hitch knot on the right side, then with the left cord end make a half hitch knot on the left side. Once the reverse Lark's head plus half inch knots are attached on both sides, this means that the top half of our first diamond pattern is already complete. Now we're going to make the diagonal row of double half inch knots in the center. So all you have to do is take the middle two cords and make a diagonal double half inch knot over to the left. Now that that's done, we can close off this first diamond pattern. Taking the anchor cord on the right side, we're going to flip it over to the left and make two diagonal double half inch knots over to the left. 
Then on the left side, we're going to bring the anchor cord to the right and make two diagonal double half inch knots to the right. Now with the middle two cords at the bottom, finish off with one more diagonal double half a knot. Before proceeding to the next section, we're actually going to add a double half a knot on both sides. We're going to take the far left cord as a working cord and we're going to make a double half inch knot onto the cord next to it. So essentially, we're making a diagonal double half inch knot to the left. Then on the other side, we're going to repeat the same thing, but the opposite side. So taking the far right cord as the working cord, make a diagonal double half inch knot to the right. And we have now completed one section of our diamond pattern. Because we started off our first diamond with reverse Lark's head plus half inch knots, to start our second and third diamonds, they're going to be slightly different. We're going to take the anchor cord we have at the bottom from the first diamond, and we're going to make another diagonal double half inch knot to the left, and then take the far left cord and make one more over to the left. After that, we're going to take the middle right cord as an anchor cord and make two diagonal double half inch knots over to the right. Now that the top part of the second diamond is complete, you can now complete the remainder of this diamond pattern similar to how we closed off the diamond right above it. Make a diagonal double half inch knot in the middle to the left and then close off with a V-shaped double half inch knot row. Underneath, repeat one more full diamond section just like we did on the second diamond. Now that we're done, we can seal the ends by taking a strand of cord at about 30 centimeters long and we're going to make a gathering knot at the bottom. You can choose any color to your liking. What you have to do is take one end and make a loop and hold it with one hand, then take the long end and wrap it around several times and then weaving it through the loop we made in the beginning, pulling on the top end to tighten the knot. All you have to do now is cut off the excess cords and trim the fringe at the bottom. That concludes our double half inch knot diamond pattern keychain. I really hope you guys enjoyed this unique knot pattern where we have changed it up slightly and added a diagonal row of double half inch knots within the diamonds themselves. If you guys are interested in more keychain tutorials like this, we do have several already on our YouTube channel, so make sure you go and take a look. If there are other styles of keychains you guys want to see more of, make sure you let me know in the comment section below. I really hope you guys have fun with this and as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.